Three. Here we go. I'll do this. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Magic gathering strat. All right, this is round one of the cube draft, the moto cube draft. Uh, I'm playing against white feline. Uh, give them a hello and good luck. I lost the die roll. I rolled a three. They rolled a six. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. No one drop. I don't have a lot of two drops. Ooh, they're playing green. I'll play a. I'll play Goblet Shrine first. Okay, I'll play a swap. Oh, I was gonna play a black source first, but uh, a swap first, but uh, yeah. I guess it could just just be Godless Shrine. Uh, All right, and I think we're gonna hit off this Life Bane zombie. I got a feeling. I got a feeling we're gonna hit. Pun pun. Rika's Cure? Nah, I think I'm going to play Life Bane Zombie. Alright, we get to see our opponent's hand. Restoration Angel. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. So we can deal with Restoration Angel. Ranger of Eos is interesting. Three, four. We just take the Hornet Queen? Next turn, they can't do anything. Unless they draw a land. If they draw a land, they can play something. Here, let me write this down. I think I'm taking the Hornet Queen just because I, I straight up can't beat that card. Estradon, Ranger, Vios, Resto, Beast Within. I just... My opponent also said hello and good luck. Just, I said hello and good luck. They said it back. My opponent doesn't draw a land. I'm going to freak a secure that mystic. gonna main phase it no reason to wait especially i can't wait till next turn because they can just drop a land and then resto the elvish mystic in response they're gonna cast beast within okay so now they have Beast Within and a Mist. They have all we know is everything but a mystery card. Or well, here I'll play. I'll play correct. I'll do it after combat. I was gonna play it before combat, but technically I shouldn't. Maybe I should have taken the Ranger, because it's not going to last that long. Alright, so that's the Histrodon. Uh, which I don't know what the morph cost is. Histrodon... Histrodon, the morph is... Okay, so you can pay the morph. It's two, and a gr it's two green and one. Um... So 
do I want to fate's fetters it? Two, one, two, three, four. I think I want to fate's fetters it. Which is awkward because he has restoration in angel in hand, but I want to save my uh, profane command to give fear and um, drain life. Since I'm drawing all these lands, since I'm drawing all these lands, I might as well make use of them. That could be wrong. Maybe that's just maybe that's just the whiskey talking. <sighs> I drink loudly. Cause they get fear. Is I don't know. It's not intimidate, right? Reader gain fear. Okay. Gotta make sure. My opponent's running on the no lands. I'm on the only lands. For five, uh, well, enlightened tutor. Okay, I could have killed him there, but I want to see more information like what it was enlightened tutor gonna get. Grim Monolith, huh? Yeah, you can Grim Monolith into Restoration Angel. That is a thing. And what does Grim Monolith do? Add three, doesn't untap? Okay. Uh, target player loses... All right, we won that game because our opponent didn't do anything. All right, so against a green white mid range deck with like Ranger of Eos, Histrodon, Restoration Angel, Beast Within. Enlightened Tutor for Grim Monolith. Is there anything I want to bring in? Snuff Out might be okay. Eh. Yeah, all I'm thinking is snuff out, but I don't know what I would want to take out. Because it's a huge, it's a mid, it seems like a mid-range deck. Like a blue-white, or the, the deck I started to draft, and then switched into black, because black was open. Hmm... Fate's Fetters is kind of awkward on creatures cause, because we know they have the Restoration Angel. Does that make Snuff out? Well... Eh. I don't... Maybe we'll see later. 
Yeah, my mana's terrible. I'll keep. Got a Vampire Nighthawk, two planes in hand. Opponent has Mulligan to six, and they keep. Play Forest, no turn one Elf, awesome. Karn Liberated, not casting that for forever. Kept this because I can play the uh, Whip Quarter too. Though I do need to draw a land at some point. Better Teeth would be great. Probably can't even attack next turn because Treetop Village can just block. Land, please? Aha, okay. Um, no, I'm not going to attack because I don't want to have to tap it down because I want to cast a pristine talisman. Because if I attack with the Soldier of the Pantheon and, and they activate Treetop Village, then I have to tap it with Whip Quarter and then I can't cast the Pristine Talisman, and that's not going to be good for my mana development. Just cast the Banisher Priest, get rid of the Obstinate Baloth. Green White probably doesn't. No, they have Beast Within. We know specifically this deck has Beast Within to deal with it. But that's the only thing really that Green White has to deal with a Banisher Priest. Oh, and blocking, I guess. Blocking works, too. Oblivion Stone? No, I guess that'll deal with it. I could really use some lands. Since I'm not drawing lands, I'll play the Parallax Wave to counter the Oblivion Stone temporarily. It's a really bad use of Parallax Wave, but nothing doing. If you're just gonna, if I'm gonna draw, well, I have a maybe I should be running 18 lands. It's actually actually the lesson to be learned maybe from this game. You can have four more life. You can have four more life. And sadly, it killed one of my mana, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, 
opponent has three cards in hand. Uh, I mean, if we keep drawing land, if we draw nothing but lands for the rest of the game, I think it might be okay. Rari's Wake. Oh, I can't even miss my trigger. <laughs> and that's just you get double mana? Yeah. So my opponent has a lot of mana. That is a little scary. My opponent can cast like a Kozilek. Or an Ulamog. Not a lot I can do against that. Oh, wait, I can just tap it. Never mind. All right. Uh, I got nothing. Oh, this could be... Um, that's probably in the cube. The one from Alara Block. The one from Alara Block. That's like two and an X... Destroy all things, put X one ones into play. That could happen here. Now, I guess I just need to draw a swamp to win, but not whiskey water. All right, this is a lot of this is a lot of mana. Eight mana, ten mana, twelve mana. This looks like it could be an X spell. I forget what the spell is called, but it's probably what's happening right here. Excuse me while I try not to spit take. That's a tooth and nail. All right. I just need a swamp to win. Unless they gain life. Well, unless they have a way to gain life. Then, then, I, then I'm in trouble. Hornet Queen. Okay. Restoration Angel. All right. That is definitely going to create a lot of 1-1s. One I need a swamp, like, oh, and wall of, oh, that's not good. Hmm, all right, I think I don't win this one anymore. Rari's Wake. Oh, and a Banishing Light, okay. For the rub-ins. All right, well, if I draw a Swamp, I technically still win, but only next turn. Only next turn, and then after that, after that, I no longer win anymore. The Swamp would be nice, otherwise, um, this game is going to be over pretty soon, and not for me. Not for me. Oh, well, I drew a swamp. <laughs> Cannot pay for a third. Just drew a swamp. Off the top. Nice top deck. Well, better lucky than good. Good thing I didn't cut that profane command. Opponent oh. says, GG, I respond in kind.
Ooh, that's the wrong glass. There's nothing in there. Yay, what would you have drawn? Ooh. Okay, so what's going on here? There is one match. Okay, so I should play some Momir. That's what you're telling me. You're telling me I should play some Momir. Oh, um, people in YouTube land, uh, join me for round two if you feel so inclined.